Okay, this is uh, Unit 1, Assignment 3, Worksheet. Uh, this was on the back of your notes uh, from yesterday's lesson. And um, these are kinds of problems that we talked about. Some of these problems we've been working on already for a couple days. I've, I taught you guys some new tricks um, yesterday. So um, let's try and use those new tricks because I'm telling you, we're going to be using them all year long. I mean, I'm applying them to some problems that you guys have done in previous classes, but we're going to be using them on new problems, that whole line check thing. Uh, even on these problems, um, these first ones, it, it's up to you. If you feel like you figure out in your head, that's fine. Um, but drawing pictures makes it super clear what the answer should be. So now there's one big difference here. Some of these have these right side up kind of capital U's and these upside down U's. And so you got to know which one's which. The, the one that looks like U is union, which is the same as or because it combines everything together, whether they have it in common or not. This is called an intersection. And that's the same as and, because intersection is everything that two things have in common. In math, in general, the intersection of two lines is the, the points that they have uh, in common. So easy way, I mean, it takes a tiny bit of effort is to draw a picture and you can say, okay, solid dot negative three, open dot at two. Remember brackets are solid dots, parentheses are open dots. And then one to four, oh, uh, solid dot at one, solid dot at four. And I just try and line these up relatively correct with the numbers. They don't have to be perfect. Now, union is the combination of all these things. So you could draw a picture of it, which is one extra step and it's conclude everything they have in common or not in common as long as it belongs to one so that's a picture of your answer would be negative three to four brackets now we include even though that's an open dot it belongs to one this is the same as or as long as the one in one or the other okay so this is another one i mean you might write or next to it and that might mean more to you based off your previous math experiences so this would be open dot negative four, uh, open dot at zero, uh, open dot at zero, um, sorry, no, open dot negative three, and open dot at one. So then I, I darken what's in between now. What, what are all the points that at least belong to one of these, if not both? Negative four doesn't belong to either of them. One doesn't belong to either of them, but every point in between it is at least one of them. So that's negative four to one parentheses. Okay, next one. This is an intersection. This is the same as and, which means they both have to be true at the same time. So we have negative two to four shade in between. We have zero to five. Five is a solid dot shade in between. And is where they overlap where they both and it has to belong to both of them so it's zero to four and you don't include zero or four because it does belong to one or the other for zero or four but it's got to belong to both so this is a uh, intersection uh negative one to negative infinity negative three to positive infinity and if you're going to infinity you just put arrows on the ends you know, and uh, this is everything that at least belongs to one because it's or. So the final solution looks like this. It's just a solid line going forever left to right. The answer is negative infinity, positive infinity. Now that's the same as all reals, but we're asking for interval notation, interval form. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, solid dot negative four, open dot at one, uh, solid dot negative three, open dot at six now this is the same as and so they have to both be true so negative three is to one now negative three is going to be a bracket because it belongs to both one is not going to be a bracket it only belongs to this one so that's going to be a parenthesis okay so i mean you can i think drawing the picture only takes a few seconds and it makes it super clear what it is. You could try and figure these out in your head, but I just feel like you're more likely to make mistakes. I think it might not even speed things up because you're trying to keep track of stuff in your head. Draw a cool little picture. 
Remember the open solid dot stuff. This is union, so this is or union like marriage. Everything gets combined together, not just the stuff you have in common. So that's gonna be negative three to four, print C on negative three, bracket on four. So I don't even need to write the final solution. I think just writing the first two. So uh, negative three open dot, one open dot. Now here I'm using the and or or notation. So you gotta be good with both them. And and or should be what you're more comfortable with already. All right, so or is if it belongs to one or the other. But it's gotta belong to at least one of them. Now root two, about how big is root two? Um, well, it's between the square root of one and square root of four, so it's between one and two. It's probably a little closer to, it's closer to one than it is to, to two because two is closer to one than it is to four. So, I mean, I'd guess like 1.3 or something. Now that's pretty close, a little close, too close for comfort. Uh, square root of three is between one and square root of four is between one and two. So it's like one point something, but it's close to four. So I'd maybe guess 1.7. I'd be all right with you using your calculator, but you should be able to estimate radicals, okay? Um, so on my calculator, let's see how good we did. Square root of two is one point, oops, see I would've got this one wrong. It's actually 1.414. And the square root of three is 1.732. So my guess for square root of three was pretty good. So, um, open dot at square root of two, solid dot at square root of three. And then here, since 1.4 is to the, the smaller square root of two, I gotta make sure I just put it to the left and I can put it, it doesn't have to be like super close or something just cause there, and 1.8 is to the right. And then we're shading in between, right? And this is and, so they have to both be true. So it's gonna be square root of two to square root of three, uh, bracket on the square root of three, print C on the square root of two. So anyways, that's just a little uh, practice with interval notation and compound inequalities, compound conditionals. Uh, now these ones say, find these solutions. Now this is the one I, I gave you guys a new trick for, okay? We don't wanna sketch these graphs because the graphs are gonna get too complicated. We do wanna do a number line. So you wanna find all the zeros and that's when everything equals zero, okay? and makes it go to zero, zero product property. It's already fact for you. So this one's actually really conveniently, you know, a lot of the work's done. Now these are gonna be, all of these are gonna all either be open or all solid. So it's gonna be at open at one, open at two, open at three. Um, and then usually you could test each region, but now we have this new trick that you need to be starting to use. And I want you to tell me what you test. I test far right over here. So x equals four, and I plug four in all these, positive, 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 all is positive, which is not less than zero, is false. And then it switches, true, false, true. The only reason it wouldn't switch is if one of these had an even power on them, which none of them do. So that's something you wanna identify though right at the beginning. And your answer is negative infinity to one, union two to three. Now you're probably always gonna do union on these because uh, intersection is if what they have in common, which these don't share any points in common. So this one right here, you say x equals one, x equals two, x equals three. Now what you should notice is this guy has this two on it. So I'm gonna put a little star next to this guy. Do something. That's gonna be the one where the graph bounces off the axis, okay? That's bounce, it bounces off, it doesn't go through. So you don't get a sign change. So you don't get a true false change either. Uh, we can do a number line. Uh, these are all open dots. One, two, three. Test a point. Tell me what you're going to test. 